there, I'm Chef Andrew Rochon, food editor of Ontario Outdoors Magazine, here with another great little recipe for you to try at home. This is wild turkey bolognese with deep fried risotto balls. This recipe is sure to be a hit, whether it's as a pass around food or as your main event. Try it out. So we're gonna make our risotto for the deep fried risotto balls. We're gonna add our butter. Next we'll add our onions. Then our minced garlic. And we'll saute those for about five minutes. Once our onions and garlic are nice and sauteed, we're gonna add our risotto. We're just gonna toast our risotto for a couple minutes with all those onions and garlic. And we're gonna add our chicken stock. The key to risotto is to constantly keep stirring it. That's gonna help it get nice and rich and creamy. Don't leave it too long either because it could burn quite quickly on the bottom. Your risotto is gonna take about 25 to 30 minutes cooking on medium high heat. Make sure to stir every couple minutes or so to keep it from sticking on the bottom. So our chicken stock is uh, pretty much reduced. This is when we're gonna add our water because the risotto, the actual arborio rice, isn't quite cooked all the way through yet. So we need to add a little bit more liquid. At this stage, we can season with some black pepper and a bit of salt. Once your risotto is just about done, you're gonna add your Parmesan cheese. Now that our risotto is done, we're gonna just transfer it to a dish so that it can sit in the fridge and cool so that we can handle it and roll it into our risotto ball. All right, while we wait for our risotto to cool, we're gonna make our wild turkey bolognese. Start by adding some extra virgin olive oil. Next, we're gonna add our onions. And we'll add our sliced garlic. And we'll crumble in our ground turkey. And we'll just brown off our turkey meat with the onions. At this stage, when our turkey meat's nice and brown, we're gonna season with some pepper, a bit of salt, mix that around. It's starting to smell good already. At this point, we'll add our red wine and our can of crushed tomatoes. All right, now that our bolognese is nice and simmered, you could add some chili flakes. I like it spicy, so I'm gonna add quite a bit, but if you don't like spice, then just don't put any in. And we're gonna add our fresh basil. Next step, we're gonna form our risotto balls, bread them, and get them ready for the fryer. So we'll take some of our cooked risotto, form it into a nice little ball. We're gonna roll them in flour and then into the egg, and then into the breadcrumbs. There we go. There's one of our risotto balls. So we got our oil at about 370 degrees. We're going to drop our risotto balls in and get them nice and golden and brown. Once they're nice and fried, transfer them to a paper towel to drain off any excess oil. All right, now we're ready to plate. We're gonna take some of our turkey bolognese. Take our risotto balls. We're gonna grate a little extra cheese on top. and garnish with some basil leaves. Some little baby basil leaves, just like that. And here's a great way to use up some of your wild turkey that you get in the spring or fall. Wild turkey bolognese with deep fried risotto balls. Hope you enjoy.